everybody. This is Chris Collier. I'm your host with Conquer with Chris, the podcast you don't want to miss. Today, we have an excellent guest. We have Erica V. Erica V, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. It's all our pleasure. Erica V, let, let the people know where you're from, kind of what you do. Oh my gosh, I'm from everywhere, but currently I'm outside of Washington, D.C., and I am a sales specialist, but I specialize in non-pushy sales systems because nobody wants to be sold to, but everyone wants to feel special, don't you think? I've always heard the saying, no one wants to be sold to, but everyone wants to buy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yes. Just ask my wife. She just left with a credit card. Not too long. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, seriously. So, Erica, let's hear a little bit about your story, uh, your background, how you got to be a, a non-salesy salesperson. Yes. All right. Well, it goes way back. Okay. So first of all, well, I know I look so young, but I've been um, in business and in sales for over 25 years, but my method goes back to childhood and, and being in high school. And I, just think of it this way. When I focus on selling and teaching, I call it the hashtag blessing method. That's what I teach. Okay. And it's because I never want anyone to feel less than. So I don't know about you, but for girls, sometimes in high school, school, it can be a little catty. And sometimes you don't get invited to parties or some handsome guy doesn't pay attention to you and you just feel less than. And I never wanted anyone to feel like that. And it happens and still into adulthood. Maybe you live in a neighborhood and the houses are close together and you see other people going to a party that you weren't invited to. So I took that into my sales process. And so I want people to understand that you want someone to feel special when they're in your space. And so that's what I teach people is to make the other person just know that you care about them. And it's not that they're just a number. Okay, that's great. Um, so they're not just a number, but how do you build, how do you, what I've always been taught and what, what the, where I come from is the first place you get to even before you get them in your, eco, your sales ecosystem is you have to break down the barrier of the know, like, and trust, right? You got to get them to see who you are so they kind of get to know you a little bit and then they start to like you. If you have any kind of personality at all, they'll start to like you. And if, if you're not a, if you're not a backstabbing uh, person, if you're not evil, they can kind of sense they can trust you. Right. Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. I kind of do it a little backwards though. Okay. So I do something I call surveys that sell. So I feel like you need to know what the person is interested in so that you can sell to them in a non-pushy manner. So I had create surveys and I teach other people how to do that. So you would send someone a survey. So everyone likes to take a survey or a quiz, right? Everyone likes to give their opinion. So you find out what they're interested in. And then when you have your business chit chat or your presentation or whatever, whatever, you're only speaking to them about what they are interested in. Therefore, it's not pushy. It's what they said that they wanted to know, right? And while you're, you know, going over their survey answers or their quiz, they're getting to know you and they're getting to trust you because again, you're only speaking to them about what they said they were interested in. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. So how do you develop, I understand that you developed this over time and because you weren't invited to a party when you were younger, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that, I would hate to see if you weren't invited, like if, you, if the school you wanted to go to didn't, you probably would have just, just taken over the world. I mean, uh, it's, it's too bad you, you weren't denied the, the school that you applied for. I know, man. You ruler over everything. Yeah. All hail Erica. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so uh, how, 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 let's go through the process, how this developed. Um, um, let's go back in you, so you, you, high school. What, so in college or, or after you graduated high school, how, how did this start to develop? Huh. Okay, so I actually started like, my first business when I was 15. I made jewelry, right? I didn't really do the process then. But I then um, opened up a nail salon. And um, when I had my nail salon, people would come in and I didn't want to just do their nails, like just do fake nails if that's not what they needed. So I would ask a series of very strategic questions. So I used the process then so they knew they were important, okay? 
Then I went on to, I did own a restaurant in between there, but you know, everyone asks you questions when you go to a restaurant, right? So that's no biggie. <laughs> but I also sold cars. And what I noticed was that if I could just get the person to sit down with me and chit chat, and I could just ask them some strategic questions, I wasn't walking all around this lot with a million different keys. I could really serve them. Then again, I was in the weight loss industry. Don't judge. I can help people lose weight, okay? I just can't do it myself because I like chocolate way too much. But anyway, that's another day. So um, in the weight loss industry, you can't just come in there and say, like, you can't sell someone like, yo, you're fat, right? You have to ask them questions like, you know, about their eating and, and why would they want to lose weight and things like that. So this process has built over time and I've used it in so many industries. For the past 17 years, I've used this in the skincare and beauty industry, and I taught people how to sell this way by serving, because most people in a direct sales model believe that they're they're not to sell. So I use this to show them that this is a non-pushy way to serve people. <laughs> and that's kind of how it came along. But there's one little thing I kind of left out. I actually have three traumatic brain injuries and dyslexia. So I needed a simple process so that I could take a moment and pause and feel like, okay, let me see, what is it that they're interested in? Do I need to do any research before I chat with them? It gave me that minute where I I could just gather my thoughts together and that's what it does for other people as well so you're not just you know flying by the seat of your pants and then you don't have to remember everything either because you had a moment right to look up everything so that's that's basically it <laughs> so so the process is you ask questions find out what they need yeah through a survey off uh, through a survey or a quiz yeah and then once you find out what they need you just reaffirm what they need and then well, get and then sell and then sell them what they need. Well basically the questions are written in a strategic manner so that the answer to the question is your product or service. So when you um review what they need then you're solving their problem with your product or service. So yes. <laughs> gotcha. That that's amazing. That's amazing. And so you've done that for a while. Um what 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 are you up to now? So now I, um, I'm still in skincare and makeup, and now I'm spreading the word about my surveys that sell, my feedback that close, and my blessing method, because I see how many people struggle with the word sales. Let me tell you, I'm bringing that word back, okay? There's nothing bad about it. It's just about serving. I see how many people have a hard time following up, and this, again, goes back to my original thing of feeling less than. I believe that when you don't follow up with somebody, like let's say someone took one of your surveys and you don't follow up, it hurts their feelings. It's rude. They gave you their time and now you're not going to call them or text them. I think that's rude. And I don't want anyone to feel like maybe, oh, she didn't think I was good enough or they thought I didn't have the money. I don't want anyone to feel like that. So this is to help people with their process of following up and closing, but they're making that person feel special in the meantime. Does that make sense? Oh, that makes great sense. It's kind of like um, you go out for a date and you don't get a call back, and you don't know why. It, you, of course, you know, um, unless you have uh, something that someone said earlier in an earlier interview that he said he's practicing reverse uh, schizophrenia, where uh, he believes that everyone, instead of everyone's out to get them, everyone's out to help them. But most people don't think that way. They think, oh, they're not calling back because they didn't have a good time. They, they're not calling back because they don't want to go out again. And even if you don't want to go out again, look at it at the end of the day, it's not really about you. It's, not, it's just not a good fit there. So at least say, hey, listen, uh, Erica, I, I appreciate um, the surveys. I uh, appreciate you following up with me, but I just don't think I, I, I need um, skin cream. Yeah. Or whatever the case may be, right? At least and, and vice versa. If you're following up with someone and they're not a good fit for your team or your product, be like, hey, listen, uh, you're Chris, you're way too ugly for my product. There's, there's no help. The cream won't help you. <laughs> Keep you doing podcasts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Look, if I can't make fun of myself, uh, <laughs> there's something wrong. Uh, <laughs> I don't take myself too seriously. And I don't, uh, but I also I don't take myself too lightly. There, there's a fine balance there. So, yeah. Erica, what do you got going? On? So, you you brought your thing to not just skincare and um, that kind of thing, but you bring it to the masses now. Yes, I'm Surveys with... that sell. 
Service that sell, feedback that closes, the blessing method. I'm helping car dealerships, realtors, direct sellers, any business, corporation, um, small business, anyone can use this because it's just a systematic process. Now, within that, of course, I teach my proven method of how many times you need to reach out to someone again to make them feel special and not spammy or anything like that. So it's a systematic approach and it, and it just works wonderfully across all industries. And, and it's great because it really takes the pressure off, you know, the salesperson um, and the customer feels great. So that's win-win, right? <laughs> yeah, that's great. Where can we find you, Erica? Yeah, so I'm at um, ericavonline.com and I have a special, I'm offering a free business analysis woo -woo, and a 15 minute business chat. Guess what? You got to fill out my business survey <laughs> and it will take you to my link. <laughs> wow. Wow. I think I may be talking to Russell Brunson of uh, surveys. Woo! Love that. <laughs> That would be, that'd be something. Yeah. So, um, do you have a favorite quote? Oh my gosh. Yeah. My husband doesn't like it. It's how hard could it be? <laughs> I'm not sure if there's an originator of that, but I say that an awful lot in my house and in my business. How hard could it be? <laughs> wow. That's fantastic. Wow. That's fantastic. Listen, um, anything you want to leave the people with before, before you go, you, you said you got a free 15 minute consultation and if, if they fill out the, the survey yes. on your website, anything else you want to leave them? Um, yeah, it's fill out that survey and I'm going to offer you 15 minutes with me and I'm going to offer you some free business tips for you. And you can follow me on Instagram at Erica Vassal, or I have a Facebook group, women in business, getting it done. And just, you know, shout out to me. I'd love to meet new people. And I love talking about anything to do with sales again, in a non pushy manner. So go out and be kind to someone and go bless somebody. Well, I want to thank Erica V for being on today. And I want to thank each of you for watching or, or listening, depending on what platform you're on. If you're on YouTube, please hit the notification bell so you can get notified of all our fresh content when it first comes out. And I want to uh, say, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.